But we're going to start off with Green Ventures. I said right off the top there, showing you how to stay a little green through the holidays. Of course, there's gift wrapping and there's the lighting that you use and turning those lights on and using energy. So how can you be a little more green? Check it out. Now that it's the holiday season, there's always the debate, is it the old lights or the new lights that are really the best to have on your home? Because Deirdre, we're here at Green Venture talking the difference between the two types of lights, because these are the older guys, right? And so yeah. um, now that we have the new LEDs, what are the difference between the two? All right, so these older lights are incandescent bulbs. These are newer LEDs. So LED lights are much more energy efficient. They're using about a tenth of the amount of energy as these old incandescent bulbs. And the thing with these old bul bulbs is that about 90% of the energy that we're using to light them is coming off as heat mm -hmm. so they're not very efficient not at all no and we're actually heating up our homes um, more than we need to be so we're wasting energy in multiple places yeah because everybody knows that the old fluorescent bulbs like they cost money to run and just but yeah. these are a little bit more to invest in the beginning absolutely so they have definitely have a higher upfront cost but they have a much longer lifespan. So these bulbs, you're gonna be replacing them more often um, as they burn out, they'll burn out much faster. Whereas these will last you years and years. And not use as much energy, <laughs> so you're saving money in your energy costs Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, so you might be paying some more money up front, but over time, you can make up um, that investment for sure. Um, now these bulbs as well, if one of your bulbs burns out, I know that was one of the most frustrating th things when you're trying to the start line. the bulbs. Exactly. And trying to figure out which, which bulbs have burned out before out. you put them out every year. Exactly. So these ones, a bulb can burn out and the whole string will keep working. Fantastic. Um, another good thing about these bulbs is because they are more energy efficient, you can string together multiple um, Right. strings of lights. Whereas these, you probably couldn't string together more than three or four before you blow a fuse. So these ones you can string together much more. So These are clearly the winners. Yes. <laughs> they're so they're the definitely winners. easier if you don't have a lot of plugs <clears throat> outside of your house as well. You don't have to be trying to figure out where extension, extension cords, cords are going. everywhere. It's crazy. Exactly. Then you have the ugly orange cord sticking and around another, well. And that's not very Christmassy, right? Exactly. And another really cool thing that I thought of is having your lights in a timer. So you don't even have to think about turning them on and off. Exactly. So that's a great way to save some energy with your lights as well. So we have this pro programmable timer here, and you can find these everywhere. Um, and this one's an exterior one. There's ones for inside mm -hmm. as well that are much smaller. You just plug them right into your plug. So basically, you just set it to the time that it is right now, and then pop down the time that you want your lights to be running for. So usually we would need our lights to be running for about six hours, just based on how much daylight we have. And you wanna know what's really good about having these timers is when you're not using them for Christmas, you can use them in your house day, like if you're gone for a, like a week, yeah. you can program it so it looks like someone's home. Absolutely, they're great for lamps and that kind of thing. Too. And so what were some more other um, energy saving tips that people can use to kind of save money over the holidays? Yeah, so um, the holidays, there's a lot of people traveling around, um, going shopping and going to parties. So try to plan all of your travel at once. Uh, if you're going out to a party, maybe go and hit the shops beforehand if you can, if you're not dress too fancy um, or if you're trying to go shopping go with some friends or the whole family go Purple. at once exactly um, or shopping locally as well we have a lot of great shops here in Hamilton we're lucky to have a lot of amazing shops exactly so we can get a lot of Christmas gifts right here so we don't need to be going to Toronto to the Eaton Center or to Square One or something like that we have Shop a lot local. of great shops here awesome yeah. well thanks so much you're gonna want to stick around because we have more tips here with Green Venture we'll see you guys soon